fans privateer FX coming at you on the Thursday April 30th ECB today uh, if I'm not mistaken should be somewhat interesting we got the euro chart up set up here um, this 88 level now looks fairly interesting um, technically and the story is there and uh, kind of looks like a head and shoulders now here this is the 200 four hourly bar here at 88 you see we haven't really been under that thing since April and above that thing since April um, the daily 200 days 11040 so not really not really interesting um, but it looks like this is going to be in play it looks like we're gonna we're gonna take out these highs there might be some uh, dollar selling flows for month end this really hasn't happened I think maybe too many people were in front of that news um, so we didn't quite get the dollar selling equities US equities are obviously through the roof this should add to any last-minute dollar selling um, for the rebalancing but this uh, 108.88 uh, is on the frontal lobe today. So what does that mean? How do we play that? Um, obviously, you got to be careful with the ECB um, hanging around. But core long, I guess. Let me just check something. Core long looks to be the way. Um, of course, a lot of you, uh, as are like me, who are um, core short dollar Swiss, this is the same position, right? So be careful uh, with your value at risk. You're basically putting on the same exact position. Euro Swiss uh, is doing what it's doing, which is reducing the dollar Swiss volatility as Euro goes up. Uh, so it's a less volatile way to play. Dollar Swiss is a less volatile way to play this. Um, so if you're feeling frisky, use the Euro dollar uh, as a proxy. If you're being a pussy, uh, which I often am in my older years, uh, I've noticed, um, use Dollar Swiss, less fall, less stress. 108.88, important. Euro Swiss, interesting again. I don't know what the hell happened up there at 08. We sold the 06s and just kind of bought 96s last night. Kind of smooth out the PL from our stock shorts. Um, not sure what's going on with Euro Swiss, um, but if, if the ECB throws it in the kitchen sink today, um, Euro Swiss could pop a bit. We're definitely sellers on high ones. Euro Swiss, we don't think this has, you know, the ability to go up at all uh, sustainably. So we'll have to see um, what it does. But it was just interesting last night. Obviously, fairly risk on. Uh, but we are sellers. Euro Swiss. We have offers right now at nineteen, and then 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 the nineteen and thirty nine, and Euro Swiss just to just to sell high ones. Let's go to Aussie for a second. We've been talking about selling Aussie. Yesterday, we sold 44s and went down to, I don't know, where did it go down to? 12. This is the four hours. Uh, yesterday, we sold 44s here. Went down to 06, straight back up to 60. Remember, we talked yesterday, the sell zone was between 40 and 80, 82 being sort of the, the stretch high. If you are risk off and you think this is going to maybe end after at the turn of the month, we saw the guys at market ear throw out the seasonality chart. Um, 80 is 
probably a good place to sell Aussie. Aussie Yen obviously is uh, smack on the bingo number here. 70 cents. We got to stick with our strategy, stick with what we what we write. We got to do what we say. Uh, so we're selling, selling Aussie Yen up here at 70 cents. Gold surprisingly did not go down yesterday. I guess a lot of the reason it, it didn't go down is because Powell's basically like, we're going to do more, we're going to do more, we're going to do more, um, which is bad for the U.S. currency, obviously. Uh, too much U.S. supply in the world, especially if there's a vaccine and, and this ends sooner than people think it is. Um, what the hell are we going to do with all these dollars? Um, gold holding steady weird one difficult to trade a rat fucker the gold as we talked about yesterday crude also bid 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 you wonder if USO is just done with all of their selling in the June and now here we are this doesn't give it do it these charts don't do it justice because you lose your sensibilities on this $60 move um but we're up 14% here. A lot of people are going to be looking at this 18, 18, 10 level in crude. Um, and if USO is done selling, uh, are there any more sellers? Out? Are there any? Are there any more um, forced sellers out there? Maybe not. Maybe the only people who are short now are the specs and they're going to get they might get hurt here we don't have a dog in this fight um, been tricky gold like a lot of people were a bit jaded we were a bit jaded when we saw it go to minus 40 bucks um, shocker right what else uh, let's give props for our, our least favorite uh, currency dollars are we talked yesterday that this thing is a buy in front of basically between sort of 40 and the figure here we are this is sort of do or die um, for the spec longs it would be interesting czar wins if we get below 1780 I really do not expect that uh, but price is price and uh, this is a game of push and pull right so if you're going to get long, try and get long here, sort of near the figure, stop below 80, uh, see what happens. Uh, what else? Let's go to Euro Yen since we're at an ECB day. Euro Yen, uh, not bid, as you can see, just sitting here on its knees. It'll be very, very interesting if uh, ECB drops the ball and... It looks like a clusterfuck. Euro yen's going to take the brunt. Um, 115.43 is the recent low. Sure looks offered, Euro yen. Just cannot really go up. It's had a lot of reasons to go up recently. Um, does not really want to go up. And Euro sterling, not doing too much. Not really sure what's going on there. You could argue that this. This is going to head down, looks like. Uh, but who knows? Anyway, focus today. Oh, yeah, let's go to equities. Um, dead wrong yesterday in the tactical book. Uh, we took our lumps. That's fine. New day today. Um, you obviously have this sort of 71 resistance. Um, and then you have these highs up here. So the round number. Sorry. You have these highs up here at 96. Um, is this month end window dressing? Kind of looks like it. Seems a little bit overdone. The drug at Gilead is not a cure. It helps speed the recovery by four days. Uh, so we're not we're not at a point where this is a cure yet. We'll have to see how this develops and how this evolves. I don't have the scientific chops um, to really analyze this properly, but 
boy, the market looks like it's getting ahead of itself here. Um, but clean slate again today. If you are going to sell, maybe wait for 29.90 today. Or um, if you want to try and push the chips in, uh, you, you really need prices below 2900 I know that's hard for a lot of you guys. But just like we were talking yesterday, the chips were going to go in below 2850 and we were writing on Twitter, uh, please sell 2850 or don't forget to sell or I will sell 2850s because we knew that was going to be awkward. Um, this is the sort of safer way to trade, right? It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound smart, I know it to a lot of you, but you know we didn't get caught with a massive short position yesterday because we had this tactical short on, but the chips into the center of the table point was if price confirmed and we got below 2850 of course that never happened so we were dicking around with some tiny little position stopped out um, now we're gonna resell today in the tactical book um, I don't really see a chips in the middle moment today so we just wait um, we just wait and see anyway that's all I got for you. We've got ECB today. Uh, this euro dollar top side level looks in play. 108.88. Wait for it, right? This is not a day to pre-trade um, these levels. Wait for it. See how it looks. See where it closes. Um, and keep in mind, we have ECB and a press conference today. So should be pretty lively. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.